Tickets. Tickets, please. Papa, did we make it to California yet? Well, son, we uh, crossed over to California hours ago. Conductor, how much longer to clean us? Uh, we should arrive there uh, right on time this afternoon, right about 3 o'clock. Sure hope your Aunt Liz got our letter. She got our letter, Mary. Where are you folks headed? We're moving from Ohio to Monterey to help with John's Aunt Elizabeth. We had a farm in Ohio, but we sold it to... She's getting on in years, you know, and she needs all the help she can get. I'm gonna miss that farm, but I won't miss the snow. Awful snow. There's no snow in California? Well, young man, uh, there's no snow in Monterey. There's no snow? Never? Well, never's a real long time, but I don't recollect there uh, ever being any snow west of the Sierra Mountains. Uh, I guess it's pretty hard to build a snowman without any snow. Guess I won't be doing that anymore. You folks have a good day, and uh, Lord willing, uh, good luck with everything else. No such thing as luck, or God for that matter. Stopped. I'm sure he's here somewhere. stuff like that again and I'll tan your hide in a leather. You hear me? Yes, Papa. John, I don't think your aunt is coming for us. Maybe she just didn't get the letter. Mary, time. she'll be here. Just be patient. <laughs> to be the Thompsons from Ohio, would you? Well, yes, we are the Thompsons from Ohio. You must be John. Well, yes, I am John Thompson, and this here's my wife. Oh, Mary, welcome to California. And that must be Tommy. He's my, bigger than I expected. Uh, your Aunt Liz sent me to pick you up. Name's Reason, Reason O'Connell. Reason? Well, that's a different name. Well, some people think I'm different. OK, well, Reason, uh, let's get going, shall we? Unless you can think of a reason we shouldn't. <laughs> You've got a funny father here, Tommy. Uh, yeah, let's get this luggage loaded. Uh, we don't want to waste time here. And I sure don't want to be caught out at night. It's kind of scary. In fact, I don't even drive the stage at night. It ain't safe. So let's go. Come on. Hurry up there.
John? What are we going to do about Christmas this year? Tommy is expecting so much. After what we've just been through, you're going to bring this up right now? Sorry, John. I was just thinking, well... We've got three months to worry about it. And I don't want to worry about it for the next three months. It'll be okay, John. Just have faith. I truly believe God will take care of us. Like he did for us in Ohio? So, Tommy, you ever ride on a stagecoach before? I saw a stagecoach back in Akron, but I've never driven a train either until today. They let you drive the train? Kind of. I only went up there to pull the whistle a few times. Well, do you know what that means, Tommy? No, sir. Your life can change in a day, a single moment, a blink of the eye. Do you like being a stagecoach driver? Oh, I love it, Tommy. No better place to be than out in the wilderness on the trails. Uh, going from the mountains down to the coast and, and San Francisco, I can't think of a better job. Uh, no work I'd rather do out in this beautiful countryside with almost perfect weather. It's just that I thought Santa only comes when it's snowing. How's he going to make it here if it's not snowing? As far as I know, Santa gets to all the kids around the world with no problem. But you know what? I think he gets to all the children here using one of these. One of these? Uh, yeah, stagecoach. When he comes out west where there's no snow, he gives the reindeer a rest in their flying duties. A stagecoach. Yeah, yeah. Mr. O'Connell. Yes, Mr. Thompson. How much longer to the ranch? They call me John. Well, not very long. You can call me Reason. Now, what's the problem? I'm not the one asking. Mary is. See, she's got to go. Oh, we've got to go. Yahoo! They made it. Mary, darling. Where oh. is it? Where's what, dear? The outhouse. Oh, we don't have one. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. Oh, we do have a water closet oh. inside the house. Oh, just past the kitchen oh. to the right. Hurry up, no, Liz. Oh, don't cause an accident, dear. <laughs> I'll get the bags off the coach. I'll tend that. You go see your aunt. I'll bring the trunk up on the cart. I'm able enough. Well, I'm reason enough. How are you doing, boy? Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive. I have missed you. You know, the last time I saw you, you were a baby. <laughs> my goodness gracious sakes alive. John, oh, how are you doing, honey? I'm doing fine. Well, I mean, how are you really doing about everything? I'm doing as good as I can under the circumstances, Aunt Liz. God works in mysterious ways, John. We don't always know why things happen the way they do. You're preaching to the choir. And they ain't singing right now. Oh, honey. <laughs> hey, Aunt Liz. I got all my chores done. Oh, hi, honey. I want you to meet my family from Ohio. Hi. I I'm Cheyenne Rude. But I'm not shy and I'm not rude. Well, maybe a little rude. But only when I get mad. So don't get me mad. I'm Tommy Thompson. But my friends back home called me Tommy Gunn. Nice meeting you, Tommy Gunn. I take it I'll see you at school. Not sooner. Come on, horse. Here we go. <laughs> Good horse, Jake. Good horse. Well, John, you can handle it from here. Oh, thanks, Reason. Hey, what's the pony for? Tommy, this is a present from your great Aunt Liz. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> Mom, Dad, can I keep them, please? It's all right. Thanks, Aunt Liz. Thank you so much. I'm going to name him Charlie Horse, just like the ones Papa gets in his leg. <laughs> Tommy, take the pony to the barn, put him in a stall, and don't you dare try to ride him without a saddle. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. Well, I guess it's time for me to get on to San Francisco. I thought you didn't drive a stagecoach at night. Well, Lizzie, I've got to say, that's the best tasted chicken I ever tasted in my whole lifetime. Mm. Well, it's a California specialty. I must say, Aunt Liz, I've never tasted anything quite like this. We're it's... glad you could join us, Mr. O'Connell. Oh, reason, please. Reason. Do you uh, often stay over here? Reason and I go way back, John. He often stays over when he doesn't have any passengers headed on up the coast. He stays with the horses and the stage in the barn. With Truman gone, he gives me peace of mind and company. <laughs> so, Pop, I was thinking that as soon as we get a saddle for Charlie, I can begin riding him. We can't afford a saddle. I can ask Santa for one reason. Mr. O'Connell. Yes, well, Mr. O'Connell says that Santa brings all the gifts here by a stagecoach when there's no snow. What did I say about Santa Claus, Tommy? You work hard for what you get. Things just don't get handed to you. Look at Cheyenne. She works here on the farm. Maybe you should do the same thing and be good for you. What about you, Papa? What did you say, son? John. There's just one more little surprise. Well, that's all I need. Just one more little surprise. Fine supper, but but I'm exhausted and I, I'm gonna go off to bed. Uh, uh, good night, everybody. Good night, Reason. Over, sit down. What you doing out here? Your mom and pa know you're out here? No, but it'll only be for a little while. I wanted to know why you're sleeping out here. Oh, I like it out here. It's very pleasant. I get a good night's sleep out here. Not as nice as the attic your aunt fixed up for you, though. Yeah, it's nice. Hey, Reason, can I ask you a question? Shoot away, Tommy Gun. You said you believe in Santa Claus. Do you believe in God, too? <sighs> Can I tell you a story? I love stories. All right. When I was on the stagecoach, I was coming up over a pass from Sonora down to Copperopolis. And uh, that's a place where lots of gold and copper could be found. Real gold? Real gold. There was a boy with me, about your age, named Jimmy Solari. He'd gotten a new rifle for Christmas and wanted me to take him out of town so he could do a little target practice and search for stray cattle. So I took him with me, and when I went to go over the hill, I dropped him off. When I got to the top of the ridge, all of a sudden, this hooded masked man and an old duster jumped out of the scrub with a shotgun and grabbed the horse's reins. He had me... Uh, unhitched the horse team, 
and I stood there and kept my distance out of respect for the robber's shotgun. Well, what do you know? Jimmy came hiking up the hill. Well, I was able to get him over to me without the bandit seeing. And he still had his gun and a couple of bullets. So Jimmy shot him. He shot him dead, didn't he? No, not exactly. I snatched Jimmy's rifle and we went down to the stagecoach just as the bandit was backing out with the loot. His mask had come off and I fired a shot at him. Boy, was he surprised. So you killed him? Mm, no, not exactly. Uh, but he dropped the loot and ran away. Jimmy grabbed the rifle and shot at him with the last bullet. So Jimmy shot him and he got away anyway. Well, no, not exactly. My boss in San Francisco caught him in Sacramento and put him in jail. He's in San Quentin. His name is Black Bart. Black Bart? You almost shot Black Bart. Funny thing was, he was a gentleman bandit. Never hurt anybody, but he broke the law anyway. That was a great story, Reason. Well, you're probably wondering what it has to do with God or the belief in Santa. Am I right? Right. Well, it's all about faith and things happening at the most perfect time. If I hadn't taken Jimmy and his rifle with me on that trip, if the bandit hadn't picked my stagecoach to rob, well then... Black Bart would never have been caught. Remember, the good Lord is always watching over you. Always. And how do you know that? In here, a lot of good things in here. Want to know my favorite verse? Sure. Faith is being sure of what you hope for and being certain about what you can't see. Tommy, you out there? Yes, Mama. Tommy Thompson, you get in here right this second. Oops, better get going. Good night, Reason. Good night, Tommy. All right, before we move on to our next subject, I would like to introduce a new student to our class. His name is Tommy Thompson, and he comes all the way from Ohio. Tommy, can you tell me when Ohio became a state? No, Miss Georgia, I don't know. Can you tell me anything about Ohio? Ohio is a nice place. We lived on a farm until the man from the bank came and made us move out to California to help our father's aunt. Can you tell us anything else about Ohio? It snows there and Santa Claus comes by sleigh, pulled by reindeer. <laughs> well, with Christmas just around the corner, are you asking Santa for anything in particular? A saddle for my pony, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. You can sit down now. Thank you. All right, class, if you can please open your books to page 15. is going to bring you a saddle for Christmas? Well, yes, I do. Grow up, Tommy Thompson. What do you mean? I mean, there is no Santa Claus, and there is no North Pole, and there aren't eight tiny flying reindeer either. Who says? I do. And God? Where was he when my father died last year and left me and my mom all alone? Come on, Tommy. I'll beat you back home. Oh, no, you won't. Tommy... You have a lot to learn about California. And what's that? That I'm always right. How was school today? Okay. Just okay? Yeah. I met some new friends. I'm gonna head on down to the creek, see if I can catch a fish or two for dinner. Why 
don't you go ahead and brush down Charlie? When life gets too hard And I'm losing part of me Papa's not feeling well, is he? No, he's not, Tommy. But your mother's trying to help him. Just be patient. It'll all work out. So, two more days till Christmas. Are you excited, Tommy? Yep. I just hope Santa Claus comes. Oh, he will. You just keep believing. No matter what anyone else says, you just keep your faith. Okay? What's going on, John? I just can't take this anymore. We can't afford anything. I can't seem to find any work. All I know is farming, and farms don't hire farmers. Farmers own farms. What child doesn't open presents on Christmas? Christmas isn't all about presents. It's about family and enjoying one another. Everything will be fine, John. Just have faith. Please don't start with me, Mary. Our son needs you right now. He needs your faith and your strength. What is it, Tommy? I just thought maybe I could help you. Why don't you go help your mother? Yeah, but if I help you, maybe you'll take me fishing. Not right now. But Papa, please. All right. Why don't you stack up this wood? Papa? Papa? I'm worried. About what? Cheyenne says that there is no Santa Claus. He is real, isn't he? She said that. Is it true? Well, sometimes Santa has a hard time finding children, especially when they move. Santa used to always come to our house in Ohio. We may have to wait another year for a visit from Santa. But I, I really wanted a saddle. I've been hoping. You'll get one someday, Tommy. I just don't know when. So you don't think Santa will bring me one? Ouch. He's got a splinter. I told you to be careful. <sighs> now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Let me see. 
Go get your mom to take that splinter out. But what about the saddle? I don't want to hear any more about that saddle. Sometimes you don't get what you want. You take what you get. I don't want to hear any more about Santa Claus. All you care about is your stupid farm in Ohio. And you can't even get a job. To Leo's papa. I really do miss him. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Yes, there is. Come on, you can tell me. Ever since we moved here, my papa's been mad. He yells at me for everything and never wants to do anything. I don't want to live here anymore. But your papa really loves you a lot. Just doesn't know how to tell you. Yeah, sure. I wish I had my pa around, even if he was cross sometimes. Cheyenne? Yeah? What was he like? He loved his horse. He had a beautiful stallion. He used to take me for rides. He'd hold me, we'd gallop by the beach. There's a spot by the rocks where we used to have a picnic. Pa told me that he would teach me how to ride one day. Wow, that sounds really fun. But now Pa's gone and we had to sell the horse and I'll never be able to ride again. That must be really hard for you. Pa always told me to have faith. So I try to. When you have faith, things usually work out. That's what he said. Wow. Do you believe it? I think so. It's hard. You should tell your father to have faith, too. Maybe I should. Hey, Tommy. Yeah? Bet you can't catch me. What? <laughs> Like. Looks like you're doing something crazy, like making a snowman out of rocks and tree limbs. It's not crazy. I can make it work. Besides, it has always been a tradition to make a snowman for Christmas. Yeah, whatever puts you in the holiday spirit. Oh, don't forget to put out those milk and cookies for Santa. He'll be going around to all the kids' houses on his stagecoach, you know. I'm not so sure, Reason. Cheyenne says that there is no Santa Claus. Uh, you remember what I told you? I know having faith is believing in what is unseen or something like that. 
That's right. You hang on to that, Tommy. You know, I've got something that may cheer you up. I've got somebody I want you to meet. He's kind of famous. Santa Claus? Not exactly. Howdy, partner. My name is John Pauling, but they call me Mr. Music. Twas no place to sleep that night, Joseph and Mary. What's going on in the barn? I don't know. I hear music. Coming to the barn? Ah, uh, you just go on. I have a few things I need to do. All seem lost. Hope starts to fade. I'm not cold and still. A kind hearted soul. Let them in. But love the barn would fill. So open your eyes. Lift them up. See what the Lord. Done. The world was so cold that he warmed it up, sent us his only son. Born that night, the greatest gift we could ever know. The gift is love, that's what it is, pure as falling snow. So open your eyes. Lift them up, see what the Lord has done. The world was so cold, He warmed it up, gave us new life through His Son. Sorry for the way I've treated you ever since we've been here. I'm sorry for fishing. Fishing? Yeah, fishing. When we were in the barn the other day, you got your stuff ready to go fishing. But you didn't even invite me to go with you. You just gave me more chores to do. I've been selfish. And not at all the wonderful father you deserve. 
I promise I will be different. I will be here for you now. God changed my heart. I love you. I love you too, son. You believe in God too? I guess anything can happen on Christmas. I guess anything can happen on Christmas. In the blink of an eye. <laughs> Let's go get those milk and cookies ready for Santa. I brought Santa's milk and cookies. Try not to eat these this time. I won't. I'd like to say something now that everyone is here. Family should be the most important thing. And it's the one thing I've turned away from. You truly are the most important thing in my life. Have faith in that. I love all of you so much. Well, Tommy, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Aunt Liz. Come downstairs to breakfast. Well, there's old sleepyhead. Care to join us? Where do you taste Aunt Liz's fresh squeezed orange juice? <laughs> there you go, Tommy. Aunt Liz? Yes. Do you mind if I give thanks for the Christmas breakfast? Well, of course not, John. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. You have blessed us greatly. Thank you for my family and this beautiful Christmas, a day celebrating your birth. Amen. 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 I wonder who that can be. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Liz. Well, land sakes, Reason, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Uh, I'm just passing through on my way back up to Sonora. But I brought a little something for you from San Francisco. Mr. O'Connell, would you like some coffee or hot cocoa? Oh, hot coffee would sound great. Oh, it may be none of my business. But there seems to be a brand new saddle with a red bow out front. A saddle? Really? Mr. O'Connell, this is a very nice gesture, but I'm afraid we can't accept this. Are you accusing me of bringing that saddle with me all the way down from San Francisco this morning? If so, you are sadly mistaken. 
And I take offense that you would accuse me of some trickery. This is Christmas, not Halloween. Papa, can we put it on Charlie? All right, son, but run on in and put some clothes on. Well, what do you know? Merry Christmas, Tommy Gunn. Looks like you got what you wished for. I sure did. What do you think? Very nice. It must have cost a pretty penny. No, it didn't. Santa brought it. Oh, really, now? What makes you so sure? Because I saw him last night myself with my own eyes. He came right by here in his stagecoach and his reindeer. I wish I had as much belief as you did, Tommy. I just got this sweater my mama knitted for me. Here. Charlie in the Saddle is my Christmas gift to you. I can't take this. This was what you wanted. Now your papa can always be with you when you ride. Besides, there's always next Christmas, right? I, I don't know what to say. Well, what are you waiting for? I love you, Papa. Love you too, son. most about Ohio? I guess I just really miss the snow. Well, Tommy, you have a lot to learn about California. And you have a lot to learn about Christmas. <laughs>